Hi there, welcome to the Web Developer Bootcamp. I want to take a moment just early on in this course to talk about what makes this program so special. Why is it the only course you'll ever need to learn web development? And I feel really strongly about that. This course is everything you need from start to finish. Regardless of your experience, there's something here for everyone. I'll take you from the very beginning up to complex and advanced topics. So this is the only course online right now that's taught by a professional bootcamp instructor. I teach people to program professionally. It's what I do. I take people from all skill levels, all backgrounds, and I help them change their lives and become web developers. And I've been doing that a few years now at two different programs. But the reason that I bring this up is that I'm not someone who thought it would be fun to try teaching on the side online. This is something that I do every day and I'm extremely passionate about. And more importantly than my passion for it is the fact that I get results. So most recently, 94% of all my students in my most recent bootcamp program go on to get web developer jobs after they graduate my course. This isn't a program where we require you to have a computer science degree to even apply. These are people from every background, every situation you can think of. People who are fresh out of high school, who are declining to go to college and instead taking my class. Nurses, retirees, single parents going back to work who want to learn a new skill, bank tellers, waitresses, artists, actors, people from all over the world and all different levels of education. And these are not people who are experts in web development to begin with. Most of my students are complete beginners. They've read a, a few blog posts, they've tried to teach themselves a little bit. Maybe they try an online program like Codecademy or something and they enjoy it, but they don't go any further. And after finishing my course, 94% of them go on to get full-time developer jobs. So I feel very strongly that boot camps are a great option for some people, but unfortunately they're not for everyone for a few reasons. One, the most obvious is the fact that they cost a lot of money. My most recent course cost $21,000 to enroll in. It's a lot of money and most people can't afford that. And on top of that, most people can't afford the time to take three or six months off where you can't work. You have to figure out rent and food and taking care of your family if you need to. It's really hard to do that. So in creating this course, my goal was to make an online equivalent of these in-person boot camps. Not only is the course much more affordable, but it also is much more flexible. Some people might only be able to put in an hour or two a weekend. Other people might blow through it every day, all day, not doing anything else except taking the course. But the goal is that it's for everyone out there. And it's not just that it's more flexible and more affordable, but I really spent a lot of time redesigning everything from scratch. So brand new curriculum, this is stuff I've been teaching for years, and I redesigned every lesson, every lecture, every assignment, came up with brand new ideas and brand new ways of teaching these topics which is the kind of work that I really enjoy doing. So I have another video where I talk about all the technologies we teach. There's so many different tools and topics that we cover. It really requires its own video. But the main point I wanna make here is that everything that I teach in this course is up to date, it's relevant, it's used in industry, it's not dying, it's not in decline, but these are things that are very popular and very exciting. They're things that people want to learn right now. And they're the same technologies that a lot of the bootcamp programs are teaching. So I have no PHP on here as a note. And I wrote that there because I've noticed that so many online courses right now teach PHP. And if you don't know what PHP is, all you need to know is that it's a language, a backend language that used to be very popular. And the fact is it still is relatively popular, but it's in decline. It's not something that grows year to year anymore. It's not something that industry and startups and big tech companies are really looking for at this point. But there are so many courses online that teach it. And in my opinion, that's because PHP is pretty easy to teach in an online setting. The setup, getting everyone installed, making sure that the tools work for everyone are really easy to do. And that's not the case with a lot of the more exciting and newer technologies. And I had a lot of reservations about not teaching something like PHP because in my in-person classes, it's much easier to help someone get their computer set up and get their system set up to teach something like Node or Express. Fortunately, I found some technologies online that really make it easy. It's even easier than teaching PHP. There are some great tools that we use that will get you set up with everything you need in a matter of seconds. So that's not a worry anymore. And we can focus on teaching the most exciting, the most relevant things that are being used right now in industry. So PHP is not one of those. Rather, the main focus of this course is on Node.js.
And really the main focus is on JavaScript. But I just want to throw it out there that this is the only full stack developer course that takes you from start to finish that covers Node.js. So there are plenty of standalone Node courses out there that either presume you have previous experience or they only teach Node and nothing else. But this course, again, is from start to finish, everything you need to know. Node is just one facet of this gigantic curriculum, this huge web of topics that we cover. And the reason that I mention this right now is that Node is by far the fastest growing, the most exciting technology out there right now. It's the opposite of something like PHP. I do want to make it really clear, though, that I'm not saying PHP is something you shouldn't learn. And I'm not saying Node.js is a miracle technology that solves all of your problems. But in my experience, as someone who has taught hundreds of people how to program, helped hundreds of people change their careers, Node is one of the best paths to success, and that's why I'm teaching it. And I expand a lot more on why we teach Node, why we don't teach something like PHP or Python or Ruby, that they're all valid technologies that have worked just fine and that I've actually taught before too, but I've settled on Node and JavaScript as the best way to teach someone to program. And the last really big point that I want to make is that this class is constantly changing with new material, new content projects, new assignments, exercises that are always being added. Think of it as a subscription to the best content out there for learning how to be a web developer. So this isn't just a one-time thing that as soon as you take the course and you finish it, you're done. That's not how it works. You'll get emails every week, every month with new content. I just added a new project or Bootstrap 4 just came out, so I've added a Bootstrap 4 module on top of our Bootstrap 3 module. And this is something that's pretty unique. A lot of the courses out there do get updates, but they're not very frequent. It might be once a quarter, here's a new unit. But this course is different in that it's constantly updating with new material, and it just keeps getting better and better as time goes on. And lastly, if you like dogs, there's a very cute dog named Rusty that I feature pretty heavily in this course. If you don't like dogs, just turn the video off right now. Don't worry, we have plenty of cat photos too. But if you like dogs, if you're intrigued by this image, you like those giant ears, then this is the course for you. So to wrap everything up, I just wanna go back to the second slide here, where it says, this is the only course you will ever need to learn web development. I stand by that statement 100%. If you wanna learn to be a web developer, whether it's because you, you think it will be fun, you want it as a hobby, you want to try and get a job, you want to start your own company, you want to create your own website for a friend or your own company that you already have, this is the course for you. It takes you from start to finish, from a complete beginner up to a web developer.